before we head to the airport, here's a peek at the clothes I took with me for 20 days in Europe. I had to cut some of what you see here, ending up with two rompers and a dress, which are great for having a full outfit that takes up barely any space, undergarments for seven days, two pairs of sleep shorts, a pair of regular shorts, two pairs of leggings, three tank tops, and four shirts. I'll list the camera gear I took with me in the description box below. Where are we going? American Airlines. I get to keep my shoes on. Do the montage of us running through our gate. Will our bags arrive in Italy with us? We're going through the cloud from hell. What no sleep for three days. We just did an eight minute run in two minutes. Tonight, Venice and some of its most famous landmarks submerged again. Protests now breaking out as concerns grow about the city's future. Showing you guys this old footage is bittersweet considering everything that Venice is going through right now, but I hope you can enjoy taking a peek back in time at our three days in this incredible historical city. Venice is known for its quaint canals and rich cultural heritage, and has even been called the most romantic city in the world. When I imagined watching gondolas drift by carrying young couples in love, I wasn't quite prepared for the reality of a summer day in Venice. By the time we arrived on the island, I had gone three days with almost no sleep, and I was completely exhausted and cranky. Our Airbnb was only a quick walk from the major sites, but navigating the city midday was still absolutely miserable. Tourists poured off cruise ships, swarming the historic center and shoving their way towards the best views. This first impression of the city left a lot to be desired, but thankfully, that changed after a good night's rest. an extremely successful early morning run and doing some photos and video of this city before it gets overrun by the cruise ship crowds. Now let me tell you, this city is gorgeous, but not after 9 a.m. <laughs> but we're gonna go and make some breakfast now. We have eggs and some veggies and have our little $2 breakfast and then we will head out to go see glass blowing. This is the mess I've made so far. Pretty much 80% of this mess is mine. I've been trying to limit it to this corner over here, but um, the only reason I'm gonna eat even sort of decently this trip is because of you. <laughs> we're gonna go see Murano Glass. So we're looking for a boat. We don't actually know where we're going. So we're gonna wander around Venice until we find it. The island of Murano 
Mono is actually eight tiny islands that are connected by bridges, and it's a great place to escape Venice for a few hours. Murano is world-renowned for its glassmakers, and I loved watching them work. After repairing my shoe, we made our way back to Venice to enjoy watching the sun go down from the top of the bell tower high above the crowds. It is 5 a.m. No, 5.30? 5.20, it's something like that. We missed the fireworks last night. There were fireworks right here, and we couldn't get to watch them because we had to get up at five in the morning. Well, let's go find some pretty sunrises and try not to get injured and try not to be late for our car reservation. Stuff. Don't ever bring this much stuff to Europe. 